Hey guys, Anthony here from AK Fitness. Today a workout on my holiday here in Mallorca. It's gonna be a full body workout. I like full body with only like five or six exercises. I already recorded a workout vlog one month ago and now it's time for another one. So let's go. Front squat. This primarily focus on the quads. With the front squat, you got two different grips. Well, maybe three. I'll show all of them. The first one is the crossover grip, good for bodybuilders. Then you have the clean grip, more of a Olympic lift. And then you got the hands-free, risky motherfucker grip. Stay upright. I'm gonna show you. Risky motherfucker grip. I don't recommend going heavier than 60 kg or 135 pounds because it's hard. Also for your front delt. This is 70 kg. I like to pass at the bottom to hold the bar tight on my upper chest. Think about a squat, a deadlift, a vertical pull, a horizontal pull, then you still have two presses, vertical press, horizontal press, that's it. Then you have six exercises. I'm gonna skip out on one, the vertical press. So if you're like, what the heck does that mean? You'll see it in the video. Now it's time for a pull. I recommend starting with your weakest lift. So if you're strong at rowing, start with a vertical pull. I start light on this movement because my body is not warmed up at that muscle, so I warm up at legs, back, and my pressing movements like chest and shoulders. After that, I don't need any warm up sets anymore. train only one muscle in one workout I don't really like that because most of the time they do pull-ups and this kind of pulls but it's almost the same how I do it on a workout A I do like pull downs and on workout B session I do pull-ups so you still have both movements but not on the same day and this exercise I do four sets eight reps Pressing muscles, chest, front delt, and triceps. I only do one pressing movement this time, and it's the incline bench because on my other training I did flat benching eight sets. Today it's time to do a little bit incline to work on the upper chest. I rather do more pulling exercises than pressing because lately I've been getting a little bit faster changes like this. So most of my work is on the laptop. Many people know it. Next thing. Driving, everything is like this. And a nice posture this. Chest up, shoulders back. The thumbs going a little bit out. Four sets, eight breaths, eight by bed with a pause. Oh yeah, guys. 
guys, I forgot to tell you, I'm still fasting. I'm gonna eat my first meal at around 7 or 8 p.m. So, uh, I really want some food after this workout. It's already time, let's go. Let's set, it's getting harder. Instead of dreaming, I've been purchasing the diamonds. I'm starting to see it, but before I couldn't find shit. Instead of wasting minutes, let me tell you. I like to switch from pressing to pulling. So I did pulling before this exercise. Now I did a press, and now back to pulling. Some people do with the same muscles after each other. Let's say they're doing full body or upper body. They first do all their chest exercises. After that, do all their back exercises. And that might be shoulder or arms. I don't really like that because I'm stronger when I got some rest. And also when I walk out to the gym, I still have some pump in my chest. And if you already did the chest at the beginning, the pump is already gone, so. So start off, below your knee and stay there. So don't go like this. No. Every rep, go back below the knees and go on. already killed me one it's hot in here two I rest pretty short because I want to have a quick workout and the third thing is I don't do this exercise often and it kills me man so two sets is enough I do three sets, five reps, and now a quick summary of the total muscle volume. Let's start off with lower body. I count deadlifts and squatting as lower body exercise. I did five sets squat, three sets deadlifts, makes eight sets. Then with pulling exercises, six sets, four vertical pulls, two horizontal pulls, and with the pressing muscles, only four sets. I like that mix. Let's go. One or two reps, just keep it close to the body. Second tip, grip the bar just outside of the hips, so not too wide. It's gonna be too much lats and you will be weak. Third thing, of course, keep your back neutral. Go around it at the top of the movement, squeeze your glutes and do your chest up, shoulders back. It's a strong position and it's good for your posture. So that are five tips for the left leg. So let's do the left set. So that was already the end of the workout and I didn't do any arms directly because you're using your biceps with the lat pull down, with the row, and you use your triceps with the press exercise. I don't train it directly at the moment, but you can do that and you will end up with six to eight exercises. Also try the other workout on my channel, the workout vlog number one. That is like session A and the next workout you move up to the session B like this. Try it out, keep it simple. You don't need 10 or 12 exercises from all different angles. Try to progress on them, add some weight, small steps. Be consistent, just hit the gym at least three times a week. I'm out here. Subscribe if you're new on this channel. Like the video if you like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.